Hello, and welcome to Word of Hope. I'm Brother Joe Trout, coming to you for Tuesday of the first week in Lent. If you pay close attention this week, the Gospel every single day has something to say about judgment. Yesterday we heard about the judgment of the nations. Tomorrow we'll hear about the Queen of Sheba rising up in judgment. Thursday, Peter and his power to bind and loose. And Friday, the judgment of all those who are angry with their brothers. Now, judgment sometimes means an active choice, some making something come to be, that Peter has the power to bring about a decision. But at other points, it's a revelation of ourselves, and that we are learning the truth of who and what we are by God revealing our re relationship with him. Right? I am sure you have met people in your life that you have thought, you know, their self-perception is not particularly accurate. They say that they're really independent, but you, oh, you're actually really needy at different times, right? We're really good at being self-deceived on who we are and what we're like. And today's gospel calls uh, a harsh attention to this, that after giving us this great prayer of the Our Father, that we are to pray for the coming of the kingdom, to delight in God's will being done on this earth, to receive the daily bread that lures us into the future, that makes the hope of eternal life present here and now, that we might receive the forgiveness of God, Jesus points out at the end, if you do not forgive the sins of others, you will not receive the forgiveness of the Father. In other words, if you are unwilling to let go of the debts that people have to you, you are not in right relationship with God. You are not, in fact, longing for the kingdom. You are not rooted in eternal life. You are caught up in the ways of this world. You're stuck in this world. If you want out of it, if you want to receive the forgiveness of God to enter into his kingdom, you have to let go of the debts of others. Now, this isn't a message of despair. Our beginning of Lent, this week of self-revelation, that we might discover who and what we are, what we are actually like in relationship to God, not who we'd like to believe that we are, but the discovery of who we really are, is not meant to cause us despair. It is a very source of hope for us. That in discovering who I am, I have this season to repent, to change, to try again, that I might not be cast aside, that I might not be cast out from the kingdom, that I have this constant opportunity to be renewed in Christ. So take the opportunity this week to step back and to have a little bit of skepticism about self, to really wonder, am I the Christian that I profess to be in the constant hope that Christ can make you that very person, that Christ can make all things new? Have a wonderful day, and God bless.